What's up, guys? It's D, the Grim Gamer, and welcome back to another episode of Jason Jackson's career in NASCAR Dirt to Daytona. Coming off a great week. A great week. A great episode last week. Another second place finish at, uh, uh, where was that? Uh, the Kingsfield. But the bigger story was right there. Anoka, first place. Got ourselves a win and uh, added to that point total. And we are currently almost 100 points ahead of Ted Finger. So right now, we're doing fantastic as far as our Dirt Series season is concerned. Looking to make a statement uh, because we didn't get uh, a sponsorship opportunity for the Modifieds. Um, without really anything else to talk about, we're just going to jump right in. And uh, we got two more races in the schedule. And uh, the next one I'm looking forward to. The next one... Oh, nope, hold on. I'm getting too far ahead of myself. But the, uh, there's one that I am looking forward to. Wasn't necessarily this one. We got Baxter Fairground Speedway. And then I believe we have the Egan Speed Bowl. Right? Yeah. So we got Baxter and Egan in this episode. So... Um, see if we can keep that momentum going. Uh, I still haven't had an opportunity to win at Baxter yet either. Um, but I don't know. Maybe we can make some magic happen. But, again, we also got Egan and won there two years in a row. So um, I'm hoping for another big outcome uh, and good results for another episode. So let's get to Baxter and uh, see if we can win ourselves another one. Well, it's taken some doing. But I think I've got this car handling a little bit better at this track than I've ever had it in the past. And putting down some okay laps. Um, a little bit more consistently anyway. And now I say that, now we're going to go to qualifying and we're going to do terrible. Because it's what I do. <laughs> Couldn't get a decent qualifying lap to save my life half the time, so... John Rafter up there with a 20.8. That's what we'd have to try to beat. I tell you, last um, last couple seasons. I, I mean, I did end up getting a couple poles last season, I think it was. But other than that, like I usually qualify like crap. And I am so sick and tired of qualifying like crap. <laughs> I would love to qualify somewhat decent for once. So... Don't touch the grass. And don't touch the... Oh, see? <laughs> and coming out of turn two and then trying to get into thir turn three, it gets me every time. Right. And I just... I can't... See, I jinxed myself is what I did. Where, where am I even going to be at? What is that? <laughs> yeah. See, like, come on, man. I'm definitely faster than that. But again, I just... Uh, I can't do just one lap and get a decent lap. I gotta do, like, five or six before I get, like, a good one. <laughs> There's too much pressure trying to do one decent lap for a qualified time. But, all right, there we are. Once again, qualified like crap. Let's go to heat two. And see if we can fix the qualifying effort. Because it was horrible. I suppose that's one of the only decent things, I think, about the Dirt Series. Is if you don't qualify worth a damn, it's okay. You got a heat race to try to make up for it. You know? So, not all is lost right from the start. On the outside, which is not promising. It's set. The race is going green. All right, let's see if we can make something happen here, except they're in my way. All right. Yep, go down here. And then try to make something happen. Didn't get into that corner very well at all. And then uh, now we'll just uh, hang out here in the back. It's cool. Ay, ay, ay. Come on, Campbell. 
hold me up here now. Well, that was a complete disaster. Um, I don't know what happened. It's like I was trying to focus on Campbell, the fact that he was kind of my way and I didn't want to run over him and I completely missed my corner. Completely missed the turn. So, that was an utter failure. I had the fastest lap though, so I have speed. You see that right there? If I could have qualified with that 20.6, I think I would have qualified on pole, I think, because I think pole was like a 20.8 or something. So I have the speed. I just, I need people to get out of my way. <laughs> I need to be able to get my, my, my line, you know, crying out loud. No, it's fine. It's fine. I just wanted to start at the very back of the B main and just work my way all the way up to the very beginning. It just sounded like it'd be more fun, you know? make this too easy for myself or nothing. <laughs> I just... I don't know what to say. Knowing full well that I am this... I and this car is a much better than that. Alright, here we go. We'll just, uh, you know, take the long route. It's fine. You know, I, I know that in racing, especially in real life, things just can't always go your way every time, right? Sometimes you're going to have a bad day, a bad night, a bad race. This has been pretty bad so far. Alright, we'll just cut right down here. Want to turn too much? Turn too much. And still three and four. The car just wants to. Oh, excuse me. The car just wants to ride up and just move right up the track. There we go. Take the point right there and drive away. Dan Diamond. Trying to come up here and do something? Dan, don't even play. Don't even come up here thinking that you can be part of the big boys. Yeah, part of the big boys. Look at the big talk from Jason Jackson. Qualifying like crap and rounding out the bottom of the B main. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna focus here. And maybe, just maybe, I might have a shot at this thing. That's probably the best I've ever taken those two corners right there. One and two. That left front just hugging that grass line. That was a great lap. That was a thing of beauty. It's a 20.6. Two laps to go, and I tell you able to get around those other guys and Jason Jackson just let the Pozhny's out of the barn you know what I'm saying I mean plus four seconds on the rest of the competition if I just stay out of the grass because I'm looking at other things now <laughs> there's the white flag but yeah just uh, stuck the pedal through the floorboard get around the rest of those guys and uh, kind of left them in the dirt. Pun intended. Checkered flag. Nice work, kid. Right there. B main win. On the move. Fastest lap. Most laps led. It's B main domination from starting at the very back. Now, we just got to do that with the A main now. You gotta do it all over again. Ted Finger dropped right the hell off. And that's good for me. Because uh, he was uh, right up towards the top of the challenge for the championship. And uh, he just disappeared. So, good deal. Like that. Now, 
Jason Jackson with JB's Trucking 432 Land Yacht. He's got to send it off and uh, claim another check and flag. And with the decent lap times that I can put down whenever I get some decent laps, I definitely think we've got the car to do it. Um, I think this is one of the best handling and fastest cars that I've had at Baxter ever since I started running this. A um, couple of adjustments that I made as far as gearing, a little bit of air pressure in uh, the uh, right rear, just little things, and it's handling great, it's and it's got green, some speed. Going green. There's green flag. Dan Diamond, you just need to get out of here right from the start. I don't want to be in the middle. I already had to lay off right at the start. I was going to just run right into somebody, which I didn't want to do. All right. I got to try not to rush things, right? Because I got 14 laps to make something happen here. There's no need to get it done in the first two laps. I mean, if I could, that'd be great, because then I can maybe get my most, uh, most laps led sponsor bonus, but... Dan, you're in my way, Dan. Look at Dan just go right to the bottom. Can't do anything about it either. Oh, come on. I'm trying not to wad up the entire field while I'm at it. Oh, look at that. That was a thing of beauty. Oh, no, it's going to walk up the track. Damn it. I was going to take another two laps in order to get back to where I should have been. Or more if Kato don't get out of my way. And cross him over? No, not quite. Try to get him down here. Well, they're not completely leaving me behind, but... Like, I still can't quite get the laps that I would like to get. Because I got these other guys in my way. Well, slid up the track. And, uh, just happened to be there. Alright, now that things are a little bit more cleared out... Try to focus on putting some decent laps down here. That Dan Diamond there, he's out of the race. Is that what happened? And it's Campbell up here leading the way? Campbell don't lead anything. What is happening? <laughs> Something's not right with this picture. Uh, touch the grass, that about ruined everything. Okay, come on, guys. Five laps to go. Five to go, what can we do? Oh, touch the grass again, damn it! Okay. Well, that practically just ruined my entire run. Two, to go. Two laps to go, and uh, the win is out of the question. The car has enough speed, but I just I'm not qualifying well enough to put me close enough to the front in order to try to make a run at it. And by the time lap, lap. I can try to get up here. It's uh, it's a little too late, so it just kind of is what it is with this track, it seems like. Well, there's the checkered, and to come from last place, 
uh, I mean, very last place, 20th or whatever, from B main all the way up to a third. I guess I can't really complain with that. And Campbell, Campbell coming from dead last and laying down the heasers. You see that nonsense? 20.6, fastest lap, leads the most laps. I mean, what the hell did Ainsley Campbell do to his damn car? That is obnoxious. It's all right. It's all right, we'll settle for third. Because I think uh, whoever it is that's trying to challenge for the championship didn't fare as well. So that's okay. Well, that took way more effort than it ever should have. But with that finish, keeps my trend going. And out of, what, five races now? Third place is my worst finish of the season. I've got third twice. So, I can't really complain too much about that. No sponsorship bonuses, though. Well, no, I might have gotten one. It's not going to be the greatest paycheck. So, let's see it. Eh, 1700 is a little bit more than I was expecting, I guess. $54 in damages. Eh. That's a little bit of money, I guess. If nothing else. What a race. Campbell took the checkered flag. I don't know how, but Campbell checked the hell out and was hauling ass. The real star today was Jason Jackson, who climbed from 16th to 3rd. I like how it says 16th because, of course, I think that's where I qualified. Um, but they didn't take into consideration the terrible heat, so I really had to start out from 20th to make it to third. So, so, I had a tough time qualifying, but my team did a good job of adjustments during the race. Um, don't know what you're talking about, JJ, because there was no adjustments made after qualifying. Just uh, grit and determination. That's all that was. <laughs> Anyways, a third place finish, and uh, we're still sitting good as far as the points total. And uh, now, what was that, 130 points above John Rafter. So, we're sitting good as far as the point standings go with this, uh, you know, for this championship. Um, yeah, I, all y'all, goodbye. So that puts a little over 5,100 in the bank and uh, we might just keep on trucking and head right to the next one which is one of my favorites the Egan Speed Bowl maybe another checkered flag on the horizon for Jason Jackson well, as far as practice goes the car's running great made no adjustments compared to the last time why would I make any um, got the pole last time we got two straight wins here. Don't need to change nothing. I suppose the only thing I do need to change is a decent qualifying effort. That's what I need. Like a good qualifying lap. Can we just do that? We gotta contend with like Eric Truitt and Josh Ginter, who's got 21 sixes. So let's go out and claim pole position. Let's just get it done and over with. I can't even say that with a straight face. And my qualifying times on every track, damn near, are just garbage. Because I can't do this one or even like two laps decent. I got to do handfuls of them in order to get decent laps usually. All right, JJ. Let's lay down a heater. Back end wants to kick out a little bit. That's okay. There's a 21-3. That was not... That didn't feel quite as good there. I think the whole back end wanted to just kind of come loose. But that's all right. 
21-4 that time. So 21-3-7 is what we're looking at. And I believe that is Paul. Fingers crossed. Oh, yeah. I'll take it. The 21.3 pole position. That's what I'm talking about. I love this track. <laughs> I've liked the Egan Speed Bowl from the very beginning. But I can't get too overconfident. You know how things go some of the time. So, Heat 1 up next. Let's just go for the Heat win and then just take the whole win. The whole checkered flag. All of it will just take it all home. Put it right in the trophy case. Yeah, look at that. That Josh Ginter over there. A couple other guys. Mark Hunter and Joe Fazzoli. But uh, feeling pretty good about that. As long as I don't screw my corners up too bad or something like that, I feel like we should have the Egan Speed Bowl in the bag. There's the green flag. Just clear these guys right from the start and just give me open area, open track, just open room to just move around. Two to go, yeah, we're, we're trying to just check out here. Just uh, drop the flag, and we'll see y'all next week. <laughs> Jason Jackson has got this one all wrapped up in a little bow. White flag. 21-3. Uh, and uh, this track is wide enough. Where if the back end wants to come out a little bit, I don't feel like I have to try to overcorrect it. You know what I mean? I can kind of just let it drift down there just like that. And it's not that big of a deal. And I can kind of just let it roll. And some of the other tracks, I feel like I just can't do that with. If, like, the back end wants to slide out a little bit, it's like it'll go down. It'll, like, touch the berm or the grass or whatever it is that's down there and just suck the car around. Where this one, if it wants to drift a little bit, I can kind of just let off the steering, let it kind of just right itself and just kind of keep going. So that's really nice about this track, and I think that helps a great deal with just, you know, doing halfway decent. All right, so far so good. And Jason Jackson with a pole qualifying effort and first place in the heat has established that he is the man to beat at the Egan Speed Bowl now. It's just the matter of sealing the deal, bringing home the W. So let's get after it. Let's go. So who we got this time? Eric Truitt, the John Rafter over there, yeah. Mark Hunter, and Ted Fingers back there a little bit. <clears throat> but it shouldn't even matter. Okay, execution time. Yes, it is, and let's go. Drop the hash mark. And okay, true. It want to give, want to give it a go. Sure, it wants to give it a go. That's fine. Take that lap right there. Ooh, wanted to ride up towards the wall. We don't want that. Now just try. Now it's just time to leave them behind. That was a great lap. That was a pretty good lap, 21-2. You know, in any kind of racing game like this, or even whether it's some of the other ones, your Gran Turismo's or, you know, whatever, it's nice to know 
you know, if you have at least one or two tracks that you can go to that is fun, that you can always do pretty decent at, this one has been one of those tracks for me in the weekly racing series. Uh, since the beginning, I got one of my best finishes uh, here a couple seasons ago. I'd have to double check my records, but I'm sure, uh, pretty sure like I think maybe even my first top 10 might have been here. Um, I kind of figured this would be where my first win would come at also. And uh, it, it, it wasn't. I was a little shocked by that. But um, the Speed Bowl, the Speed Bowl has been really good to me from the beginning. And uh, it's been nice to know, well... I'm kind of jaw jacking at the moment, kind of screwed that all up. But, um, but anyways, you know, it's good to know that I had this one in my back pocket, you know, on almost any given season, and could just have some fun with this one. Because this track is fun, and I just need to concentrate now because <laughs> I'm just yapping. I'm going to throw it away if I don't concentrate here. See, Matthew Cato's made his way all the way up to second over there. Came from mid-pack all the way up to second. He's going to want to try to make a run for it. So, so I mean, by having to, having to concentrate, I'm starting to learn that I can't really talk and do this at the same time because uh, it just makes it worse, <laughs> and I end up screwing everything up. Um, lay down some good laughs and then Kato can't even have a chance to get up here. There's the white flag for Jason Jackson at the Ishkin Speed Bowl. Send it down the back stretch and through three and four for one last time. And that is complete domination. Great job. And that, that is what I want to see. John Rafter with the fastest lap, really? I thought for sure that I would have had that wrapped up too with almost a four second lead, you know, over everybody else. But hey, that is complete domination. That was qualify on the pole, lead every lap in the heat, and lead every lap in the A main. No one could touch Jason Jackson. No, he's got to be feeling good about that one. Let's go to victory lane and find out. Well, hell yeah, another checkered flag. Second one on the season. And I believe that makes uh, three from the Egan Speed Bowl. This place has been real good to me over the last couple of years. I think they ought to just start printing my name on the damn thing before I even get here, because I'm going to take it home with me every single time. And that, my friends, is also double digits. Ten wins for me in my career in the Dirt Series. What a day. And I couldn't have done it without them sponsors. Steve Craig, Mark Greenway, Hot Togo, Bill and Supplies, and JB's Truckin'. They gave me a good car. Scratch that. They gave me a great car. I cranked that engine, and once it fired, I think everybody else put their cars back on the harness, and they went home. Because all out of my windshield, all I saw was nothing but open track. This one was a lot of fun, got me a lot of money, and extended that points lead. I said, I'm coming for that championship. I'm coming for it. we will make three in a row. Look out. Jason Jackson is on fire. Woo-wee. Yeah, no, that's what I'm talking about. Annihilation. 110 points. Max points day. Max money day. Another victory. Extend that points lead. Just all around. All around exactly what needs to happen. And that is now two wins for our primary sponsor in JB's Trucking. So need at least one more win 
uh, to get the sponsorship money from them at the season's end. Speaking of that money, show it to me. Where's all that greenage? Right there it is. 7,600. That's a good chunk of change. And that will definitely go towards some upgrades for the modifieds when we get there. Jackson extends the lead. Jason Jackson already in first place in the standings. Widen the margin between first and second with a victory at Egan. Jackson with two wins this season. Now leads John Rafter by 166 points. I'm really happy with my driving this season, Jackson said at the post-race news conference, as he should be. As he should be. That makes what? Six races now without ever falling out of the top three. So in six races, that's two third-place finishes, two second-place finishes, and two wins. Can't complain with that in the slightest. There we go. Stomped them. Stomped them. Big time. Oh, yeah, that's looking good. Shh. At this point, JJ might be able to uh, sit the last race of the season out completely and just not even show up and have the championship wrapped up. <laughs> just putting all of these good old boys to shame. It's a big departure from how Jason Jackson's first season started. i tell you. There we go. We're approaching 60000 in the bank. Have some hefty upgrades for the modified when we get there, when that time comes. That time ain't quite yet. Still got two episodes to go. Uh, but this was a good one. And if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And if you're interested, and if uh, you feel so inclined to do so, head over to Twitch, follow me there, streaming every Tuesday and Thursday night, playing all types of different games over there. There is a link to all these different things in the Discord. That link is in the description as well. So, yeah. Yeah, that felt good. And uh, we got some serious momentum heading into the rest of the season. So with that, that's going to be it for this episode. I am D. I'm the Grim Gamer. And until next time, where we'll see you for another episode of Jason Jackson's career in NASCAR Dirt to Daytona. Best lap ever. Best lap ever! And because I, <laughs> because I wanted to celebrate that, I'll just wad it up in the wall. But I got a best lap ever. It's looking good. Just want one damn qualifying effort that's worth a damn.